Hello and welcome back to the Beautiful Things channel. Today I thought I'd do something I haven't done in absolutely ages. I have to admit the lovely Lisa Comfort's been doing some favourites videos in the last couple of months, which reminded me that it's something I used to do ages ago, except I called them things I love or what do I love or loving right now? I can't really remember. But anyway, I thought I'd do a favourites video for you. A little bit crafty, a little bit fashion, a little bit everything. I've got all sorts of different bits and bobs I want to show you. So the first is indirectly my t-shirt, but I have massively got back into this TV series. So I'm sorry, I'd rather be watching the Gilmore Girls. So I had got through to season four of the Gilmore Girls. I used to watch it a lot of an evening when Mr. Mac was away traveling and for one reason or another, I probably haven't watched it for almost a year. Anyway, I had a holiday at home, as you know, very, very recently, and I have binged the Gilmore Girls. I am now halfway through season six, so I did two seasons, equivalent of two seasons, in one week. So I'm slowing down a little bit. I don't want to rush it. I'm going to have another little holiday at home, probably towards the end of August, maybe September time, I'm not sure when. And I want to try and finish to the end of season seven, and then I'm gonna hang on to that final season called Seasons, the day in the life or year in the life of four part series that they did at a later date. And I'm gonna hang on to that for a special occasion so that it doesn't all run dry. My t-shirt, Mr. Mac bought me, and I have to say I have no idea where it was from. I'm so sorry, but probably knowing him, it was Amazon. Was it Amazon? Is he's nodding. <laughs> so the next thing I want to show you was a little bit of a splurge. Mr. Mac and I went up to London recently just for a day out, and while we were there, I accidentally fell into Michael Kors. I know, as you do. I love Michael Kors. I have a few of their bags and to be honest, everything that they sell is a classic that will never ever go out of fashion and I see it as an investment. Well, that's what I'm telling myself anyway. I bought myself these beauties. Now, I've had my eye on these shoes probably or certainly their equivalent for about three or four years now and I have never bought them but this time I showed Mr. Mac and I said to him, oh look, there's a sale on. So he said, try them on and I did. They fit like a glove. Let me show you. So you can see they're super, super duper comfy. As soon as I put them on, they were just amazing. They've never rubbed me. They've never given me a blister. They don't pinch. I wore them all the way to Belgium. I walked through the airport, all sorts. Um, kept them on my feet almost all day and they are so incredibly comfortable. So they certainly were an investment. I will tell you, they were 112 pounds, but they are normally much closer to 200. So I actually haven't got a problem with that. Considering I've had them now probably about a month, I have worn them so much and they go with absolutely everything. Um, so yeah, amazing pair of shoes. If ever you're not sure about buying yourself an expensive pair of shoes, think about them pounds per wear and think about the investment that you're putting into your feet. Now when it comes to investing in body parts, another thing I like to look after is my hands. I do a lot of close up work to camera, especially when I'm teaching crochet videos, etc. So I always like to have my nails done and keep my nails in top knob condition, top knob? top notch condition, um, but also my hands. I do a lot of work with yarn and crochet and knitting and the yarn, because it attracts moisture, can very easily dry your hands out. So I need a really good nourishing hand cream. Now, if you're on our Facebook group or a member of our Facebook group, you will have seen me post about this stuff. I absolutely love it. It's by Tropic and it's called the Superfood Hand Therapy. I can't remember exactly how much it is, but I think it's about 12 pounds, so it's not crazy money. I'll pop a link down below um, to my friend Tade. She is an ambassador for Tropic, so if you want to get your hands on some, if you pardon the pun, um, I'm sure she will be able to help you out. Um, but it's 100% natural. It's made with olive squalane, whatever that is, um, papaya extract and oat milk. Um, it's freshly handmade here in the UK, which is excellent, and it is vegan and cruelty-free. 
so if you are after something that is not only good for you but is also super good for the environment then I can highly recommend this stuff I promise you I'm not on commission I bought this with my own money from Tade but it is really really lovely super thick and creamy really nourishing and it goes into your skin really quickly so you're not left with slimy greasy hands the only tip I will give you is don't leave it in a conservatory on a really hot day go to squeeze out just the normal amount you do because you will have a hand completely flooded in hand cream as I learned the hard way yesterday. The next thing I want to show you is again a local product. It is a candle. Now for many 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 years I have been searching for the perfect green apple fragrance. Something that smells really crisp, really fresh and really lovely. It is my favourite smell by far. Every candle I've ever smelt has always been a red apple or a cinnamon apple or something along those lines and I've never ever ever found the perfect green apple until today. So it's just a plain white candle. It's a shame there is no smell of vision but it does smell absolutely gorgeous. So if you are after the perfect green apple candle you need to visit Handmade by Corel and again I'll pop the details down below. The nice thing about Corel is that she lives in about 10 miles that way from me um, in Stanfordly Hope in Essex. So these have been produced here locally to me and are supporting a local independent trader. And I know that I will be back for more of these because they're absolutely beautiful. And she does all sorts of fragrances. Two more things to show you. The next one is a book. Now I mentioned this in my knitting podcast, but I honestly did not realize how good it was. This is West Knits Best Knit. And I am currently knitting the Stephen West Penguino cardigan, which is in this book. Now, why I wanted to show this to you is because I'm really impressed. So I can show you this without ruining the pattern, but you can see that each part of this jumper is numbered. And each of those numbers relates to the numbered sections in this pattern. So when you are looking through the pattern, instead of just knitting blindly and not really knowing what you're doing, you can actually refer to that and you can have a look and you can say, ah, yes, I'm doing that section. It needs to be this sort of shape. That makes sense why I'm adding extra stitches here or taking stitches away there. So it is just brilliantly written. Really, really, really brilliant. It's ingenious. I'll cover it in a lot more detail in my next podcast, which is coming soon, I promise. But Stephen West, Best Knits, great book. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is my Chili's bottle. Now, I know a lot of you will already have these. I've seen them all over the internet, absolutely everywhere. Of course, I had to go for rose gold. It is by far my favorite color at the moment. I have rose gold everything. Um, but the reason that I bought this was, I'd heard about how good they were, but I was also really off put by the price. This was 30 pounds for um, 175 mils. So it's quite a lot of money. But the reason that I specifically wanted it is I love really cold water. I put tap water in my fridge in different bottles all the time. So we've always got cold water in the house. But what tends to happen is the kids take the bottles out of the fridge. They go off somewhere, they drink it, they leave it on the side. Then they'll go back to the fridge. They'll take another one out, drink that, leave it on the side. Now I'm not complaining. I love the fact that my children like to drink water and that's brilliant. But what happens is I then go to the fridge and there's never anything in there. So by having a Chili's bottle, and by the kids knowing that this is mummy's bottle and they cannot touch it for pain of death, it means that if I fill it up with cold water in the morning and I leave it on the side, I always have ice cold water to hand. And it really does do what it says on the tin. 24 hours of staying ice cold. I haven't tried it for a hot drink yet, but apparently it will keep a hot drink hot for 12 hours too. So well worth the money. We're off to Mallorca in a few weeks time and I know that I will be really looking forward to putting ice cold water into it, into the morning, having it by the pool with me all day and knowing that whenever I'm thirsty I can reach for my water and it's going to be nice and icy cold. So I can highly recommend the Chili's bottles. Yes, they're expensive, but I think they're expensive for a reason. They are incredibly good and well worth spending the money on them. And they don't have to be quite as expensive because you don't have to get a rose gold one. <laughs> but they are nice. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do more of them. I'm not going to make it a massively regular thing. I need to obviously have decent stuff to show you. Um, possibly monthly. We'll see how we go. So, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any comments below. And I will see you for another video really soon.